Hey kids, I've got a new thing in my office today, but this is something you probably recognize from church. It's um, up front in front of church every Sunday. Do you recognize what this is? Yeah, this is the candle uh, that is up front, and it's the candle that's lit uh, during Easter time, during the whole uh, Easter season. This candle is called a Paschal candle. Now, Paschal is just a word that that basically means Easter, and so we light it uh, for the first time on Easter Sunday here at St. John's, and it burns all the way until the day of Pentecost uh, when we put it out and and wait until uh, the next Easter season to light it again. Now, there's a few um, things that can help teach us about Jesus and his resurrection and Easter Sunday from this candle, and one of them, the is the fact that, of course, it's a candle. We light it, and it burns. Um, there's a, a verse in Scripture that we sing sometimes, Jesus Christ is the light of the world, uh, the light no darkness can overcome. And so this candle reminds us of, of Jesus' presence among us uh, to light our way and to be our guide here in this life. Um, you'll also see on this candle, uh, there's a, a red marking here that looks like an A, and then this strange, it looks like a like an upside-down horseshoe, <laughs> but actually these are Greek letters, uh, Alpha and Omega. And this would be like the A and the Z in their alphabet, the first letter and the last letter. And that reminds us that Jesus is the first and the last. He's the beginning and the end. Uh, basically, Jesus was here before everything else, and he'll be here uh, along with everything else for, for all eternity. Jesus goes on forever. He's always been here, he's here right now, and he will always be with us. Uh, you'll also see on the bottom of this candle these, these green leaves here. Um, these are actually palm branches. Uh, you remember from Palm Sunday, uh, waving palm branches. Well, palm branches are something that are used, or they used to be used uh, back in the old days, uh, in celebrations. Uh, when Jesus rode in on a donkey to Jerusalem, people waved palm branches and they, they set them on the road so the donkey could walk over them. Um, so these palm branches are, are a sign of celebration and victory. Uh, Jesus has won eternal life for us and, and so lighting this candle helps us celebrate that we have victory over sin, death, and the devil because of Jesus. Now here's kind of the most unusual, but really the coolest part about this candle. Uh, there's these five buttons in this candle. And these, these buttons actually come out. I'll show you. You see, they, they come out like that. These are supposed to represent nails. Uh, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, uh, there are five wounds that his body was wounded with. Uh, Jesus' body... He had two nails going through his hands on the cross. He had a nail going through his feet. Um, he had a crown of thorns that he wore. And he also was wounded with a spear on his side after he had died on the cross. And so those nails remind us that, that Jesus uh, still wears those signs of the cross. Uh, you had just heard on, on Sunday morning about uh, Jesus appearing to Thomas and to help Thomas believe that Jesus had really risen from the dead, he showed him his hands and his side, and he asked Thomas to put his finger uh, in his hands. And so when we have these nails here in this Paschal candle, it reminds us that Jesus really did die for our sins, and he'll always have those wounds of the cross on his body uh, to show that he is the one who can forgive our sins because of what he did for us on the cross. Um, so this really is a, a great uh, candle to remember Jesus by when we worship on Sunday morning. And so hopefully when you come back to church after all of this, um, you can see this candle being lit and you can remember all the great things that Jesus has done for you.